one hundred and ninety dollars. Eighty nine. Don't show three dollars. Don't show my picture with that, please. Hey everybody, how we doing today? So welcome to DIY to Fry Sunday, whatever day I post this. But uh, anyways, today we're going to be building a DIY fly line management mat. Now, one of the things that's been happening is uh, I've been going out on Bonefish Chuck's flats boat. And in the Keys, it's always windy. And when you're fly fishing, you always have your fly line kind of stripped out, ready to cast. So you tend to have a bunch of line just built up around you. The problem that we're running into is because he has a very flat deck with nothing there is any type of wind the fly line ends up getting blown off the deck and then it's in the water and then trying to cast is a pain so it kind of really interrupts our movement so i'm going to be building a spike mat that's going to help kind of control that fly line now i've already built one of these and we've been using it on uh, chuck's boat it works excellent um, but i figured i would just do one for my kayak and then do one of these videos. Now on my kayak, I've got my uh, casting platform and then I've got the basket, it works great. When I don't do that, usually I have my uh, specially cut blanket that I lay out in that cockpit area and that covers everything. But even then with those, what happens is that you strip the line down and the coils become very tight and they just sit on top of each other. And a lot of times that just causes a quick tangle. So even using this mat now with the spikes, that'll alleviate that by separating those coils and allow it to kind of settle in a lot better. So let me show you how to build one. So for this build, very easy and cheap. Uh, we're just gonna use any old rubber car mat. I found this one out on the street. And some zip ties. Uh, tools wise, we're going to need a drill and a drill bit to kind of drill the holes for the zip ties. Uh, but that's about it. I'm going to be cutting mine down into a smaller section because I don't need it very large for the cockpit of my kayak. But, uh, let me trim this up and I'll show you the next step. Okay. I went ahead and trimmed it up. Pretty easy to cut with just a, uh, case cutter razor blade. Now we're just going to drill some holes and create our pegs using these uh, zip ties. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill two holes side by side. The drill bit is roughly about the width of the uh, zip tie. And we're gonna do one right about here. And then about a half inch gap between it, we're gonna do another one, a second one. Okay, then we're going to take our zip tie and uh, this is what's going to create our uh, peg. So we're going to want to go in one hole. And through the bottom. going to come back up through the zip tie and we're going to cinch that down and that's going to create our spike and we're going to chop these down once we got them all set but there's one I think I'm going to do on this one I'm going to do five across and then four lengthwise and that would be about enough they don't have to be super tight you want to have some gap because you're dealing with some pretty big coils so not such a big deal and it can be random it doesn't have to be any special grid okay all of our spikes are in place now so i'm going to trim these down because they don't need to be as tall uh i'm just going to cut them about halfway so they're about uh three four inches I'm just going to snip them. And just like that, bam. All right, uh, let me show you how this works. Just basically when I'm stripping line, 
the spikes will catch it and then they'll lay down on top of each other in order. Then when I'm picking up the line, you don't have to worry about tangles. Just like that. Okay, we've got the mat down, got my blanket set up, works the same way. I'm just gonna get a bunch of uh, line out. As it sits right now in the initial flow, it's gonna be upside down. The, the line I'm gonna be throwing with is gonna be on the bottom, so that's not gonna work out too well. I just wanna get a little bit of line out just so I could actually strip correctly. Okay, and I can get a little bit more out there. Okay, now I could actually start uh, laying down the, uh, the line so that it's going to come off correctly. and it just pulls off no problem and that's what we're wanting i got quite a bit of line out keeping it separate and it gets it all out without a problem alrighty hopefully you found that somewhat interesting or for you fly guys useful um i said we've been using it for about a month and it uh really has helped out he did pick up an actual custom made one like i said that's 190 dollars versus three dollars <laughs> plus mine is a uh, heavy because of the rubber mat so we could just leave it on the front and run where the other one we have to stow it because otherwise it'll fly away although that one floats. I don't think this one might not float, but then again, I'm not gonna like freak out if I lose it. See how fast I can make them. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.